Let us be our brother's keeper. Yes, our sister's keeper. Yes, if this girl did not tell somebody where he was going to, yeah. we would still be looking for her today. Yeah. So that is a lesson. And let us also be mindful of phone calls. Mindful of where we go. That that monster and all the accomplices will not go unpunished. Yeah. He has committed rape. Yeah. He has committed murder. Yeah. And as such, he will be charged for rape and murder case. Yeah. Um, this is what we see most times in Akwaibom and all over uh, Nigeria. Women being killed in their homes, women being killed on their way to work, women being killed, you know, in the guise of interview and all that and all that. All of us must stand up and fight this issue to a standstill. We don't like the fact that our babies are being defiled. We do not like the fact that some people would be heartless to rape and kill. It's bad enough that you've raped and then you will murder. We are hoping it will also, that whatever will be done, to those found culpable in what has happened will deter others who have the tendencies and maybe secretly have been doing these things. They will know that it's no more business as usual. So that is why we are here this morning. We are saying it is enough. It breaks my heart to see that a young girl in her prime with, with great future will be lured, raped and murdered in cold blood. It's a terrible thing. This is it's an unbecoming act. It's so 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 devilish that I don't know how to describe it. I want young people to start speaking out. I'm actually a survivor of rape. I'm raped by a group of thieves who nearly destroyed my body. And what did people say? Don't say anything. When you keep telling victims not to say anything, do you understand the psychological trauma that they pass through? This thing is painful. You don't know what we face. I would have been also a victim of this killing because this same guy also asked me to come for interview. I've been searching for a job to survive. The job I'm having cannot, cannot take care of me and take care of my family. I needed something better. But I thank God I couldn't attend the interview. Why? Because I didn't have transportation. That means this guy would have also killed me.